So the first step of Tulip PLL is to solve the corners. You could do edges first, but that's pretty silly really. There's absolutely no benefit and quite a lot of costs. So the first case where you would just do, you probably already know the algorithm, but I'll go over it again. R prime F, R prime B2, R, F prime R prime B2, R2. Now that can be done as R prime D, R prime U, R prime D2, R U prime R prime D2, R2. But I remember it is R prime F prime B2, R F prime R prime D2, R2. The other case you can have, which in the beginner's method you would do the algorithm for this case twice for this case. Instead, what you need to do is F R U prime R prime U prime R U R prime F prime R U R prime U prime R prime F R F prime. And that means you only have to do that algorithm once instead of the other one twice. Which in both cases gets you on to the edges. So for the second part of Tulip PLL, once you've solved the corners, there are four possible cases. It's worth noting that these are each 4 and 12 chance. This is 2 and 12. This is 1 and 12. But you should learn them all. So if you've used my beginner tutorial, you already know this algorithm, but I'll go over it again for this case where you have this solved and you need to rotate these clockwise. So this is called the UA perm. So R U prime R U R U R U prime R prime U prime R2. For this case, instead of just doing that algorithm twice, what you can do is the inverse. That's why it's called the UB perm. So R2 U R U R prime U prime R prime U prime R prime U R prime. For this case, you're going to have to use M moves realistically. There isn't really much alternative. So the M slice is this here. So the algorithm is M2 U prime M2 U2 prime M2 U prime M2. For this case, most people like to use M moves as well and do M2 U prime M2 U prime M prime U2 M2 U2 M prime U2. However, I personally like to use a slightly different algorithm that uses R moves and U moves that goes like this R prime U prime R U prime R U R U prime R prime U R U R two So I would recommend that you learn all of those algorithms for the last one you can choose between whichever one you like. Obviously there are alternatives like you could use M slice algorithms for U perms which you can learn if you want. I don't recommend them but they're out there and some people like them. You can even learn an RU one for the H perm. There are a few ones available but very few people use them. <laughs> 